Hey guys, Killer6, and today we are looking at some leaked content from Borderlands the pre-sequel, and this is the Handsome Jack Doppelganger. Now, as you guys know, Gearbox has basically already stated that they were going to release this as a downloadable character for you guys, and uh, here he is. This is the, the skill tree, and uh, I'm not going to show you the entire skill tree today. I just want to kind of give you guys a little taste today, and... Uh, the reason that I don't want to give you the entire skill tree is, quite frankly, time constraints. It would be like a 15 to 20 minute video if I, you know, went over every aspect of the entire skill tree because he he seems to have more skills than most characters. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. But Gearbox is uh, notorious for releasing wonderful DLC, and I want you guys to know that I'm I'm releasing this information in support of Gearbox, not to be against Gearbox. And I think that this. To me, at least, this leaked information has me more excited for Borderlands the pre-sequel than I was already. I, you know, this gives me something to really look forward to and something I'm really anxious and ready to get my hands on. And uh, this, it just looks like a freaking great character to play as. So, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. But uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into what all you can expect with this. We'll start, like I said, with the free Enterprise skill tree today, and then tomorrow we'll take a look at the Greater Good skill tree. So let's jump right into it. Higher frequency trading increases weapon swap speed, nothing too exciting there. Incentive swapping weapons increases fire rate for a short time. Each stack lasts 10 seconds. You can stack that up four times, it looks like. Compound interest. Shooting an enemy applies compound interest to that enemy, causing it to accrue interest for 5 seconds. Shooting that same enemy with a different gun consumes compound interest and deals explosive damage based on your skill rank and the amount of interest accrued. Only works with bullet and laser guns. Marginal benefit. Throwing a grenade has a chance to reload all equipped weapons. And you got a reload chance at 9% at the base there. Money is power. Now this one has the potential to be the first like broken, overpowered skill for him. Money is power. Picking up money grants you money as power stack. You gain increased damage with all gun types for every money as power stack you get. You can stack that up to 999 times. So just run around picking up money and you do some insane damage. Coming demands like the uh, the Jacobs or actually the uh, Allegiance runs that everybody was doing. But if this, on this one, if you use all Hyperion gear, you get bonuses. Merger is a melee override skill press. Mouse 3 to fire shock lasers from your wrist. This ability has a cooldown. Taxation of trade routes increases your fire rate with all gun types. The bonus is based on how many bullets are currently in the magazine of your equipped guns. The emptier your guns magazines, the better the bonus. Absolute advantage. Kill skill. Killing an enemy causes your shots to have a chance to not consume ammo for a short time. Rocket launchers have a reduced chance to not consume ammo. Laser surplus. This is a slam augmentation. When you slam, you shoot a cone of lasers in front of you. Which is kind of strange, but alright. That Whatever works for you there, Jack. You go for it. I don't get this whole lasers attached to the head. Should be attached to the butt. <laughs> Supply and demand grants you and your allies constant health regen. The lower your health, the more powerful the regeneration. And uh, let's see, allies receive 20% of that bonus. So that's pretty cool. It's actually a good little team skill there to have. And I don't know if that'll be one of those ones where it can be uh, more than just a plus one or what have you. This one doesn't even fit on the entire card there. <laughs> Sponsored by, this is the, uh, the the capstone. Your gun uh, your gun gains a manufacturer bonus based on the last gun and you're held in your hand. So for example, if you held a Vlad off, then whatever gun you switch to will get a fire rate bonus. If you held a doll, then you switch to a Vlad off, you get a you know recoil reduction, etc., etc. So what do you guys think? Is Handsome Jack gonna be a uh, fun character to play as? I think he will. I, uh, I like the idea of having the, the DJs running around, the Digijacks and uh, doing some damage for you. And uh, also, from what I've been told by my source, you get some pretty interesting dialogue between Jack and the doppelganger. You, you know, your character is a doppelganger of Jack. He's not actually Jack. But uh, you get some pretty cool interaction between those two. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Also, please take a moment to click that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys back here in the next video. Take care.